The only excuse I have is that I didn't put enough effort in. I didn't, I, I just couldn't be bothered. That's literally the only excuse I have right now. Number one of the day um, is protein oats. So I've been using the ghost protein in here. Um, you can use literally any protein that you want, um, but this is just the tub that I currently have and it tastes really good. So, it's a bit hot though. This is always a massive debate on social media. I like my oats to be really thick, so you know, like if you pick it up like this and it kind of plops down like that. I like that, whereas people like it a bit thinner. But then I think, like, you may as well just be eating soup. Really thin oats, just not for me. But then at the same time, I could, if it wasn't like this, you know, if it wasn't quite like that, I could, I could definitely. Oh, look at that though. But I could cope if, if it wasn't, you know. Oh, hot. Probably <coughs> keep that in because I'm real. That will be washed down with a glass of OJ. Um, I like to have it in the morning. It's just kind of like a nice treat. There's nothing wrong with having orange juice. Obviously there is sugar in it, but as long as you don't have the whole jug, you know, you're gonna be okay. This is like a teeny tiny glass, so. It'll do just fine. Hello. Is the crowd favourite? Yes, obviously. I was thinking after you'd left, you know, that we should have gone run round to yours and recreated it. <laughs> and I should have I should have come round the corner in a vest, like found the smallest vest I could find. Come round the corner like this. Yeah then. Oh, oh. I'm having a pump today. Oh nice. Pump! Oh, great. This one in. Yeah, what we're actually doing today. Upper body. So back and front. Yeah, and shoulders. But strength work, strength. No, it's walking. Strength, rep ranges. You mix and mix it. Yeah, this is, no, I'm not mixing, this is called stacking. Stack, <laughs> stacking? Yeah. 
No, I'm serious. So you, some of the kids are calling it these days. Sour watermelon pump and sour mo- watermelon legend. So they make them the same flavour because this is a pre-workout oh, yeah, with sweet. a little bit of pump okay. stuff in there. But then this is a pump product. Together. Makes you massive, bro. Just, just. Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lucky just to call you mine. Hey, hey, you don't want to chase though. Here's heads. All right, yeah. Heads is for flat. Yeah, heads is flat. Tails is for incline. Yep. Okay? Yep. So we're going to start it neutral. Uh, what? Nah, that's not even the coin, is it? If I drop it, it'll just drop like that. Flip it. Okay. Good vibes to this song, man. Good vibes. So, essentially what's gonna happen, right, is I'm gonna make a video including that song and it is gonna be the sickest video you've ever seen in your entire freaking life. You are gonna love it, I'm gonna love it, and it's gonna be amazing. It's just gonna take me a while to make, right? You know they say, you should never curl in the squat rack, but it's okay, this is my house. Mum, you know I'm dieting, don't you? <laughs> Come on! Fun size. Oh my god. Fun size, grandchildren's sports day. Oh okay. But not all of them. The school, yeah, they're still going to be in the house though. Yeah. 
Go resilient, Uncle Leo. Resilient. Go resilient, Uncle Leo. <laughs> and without sounding like a whining little little beach, you know, that is probably one of, if not the hardest thing about living at home. Um, if you are relatively new here, I was a student, obviously for the past three years, at Nottingham Trent University. I lived in Nottingham on my own. Well, not on my own, like with other people, but you know what I mean? I, I had the, the freedom and, you know, I cook my own meals, wash my own clothes and all that kind of stuff. I've come home and that kind of freedom, if you like, has, has not disappeared. It's not gone. Of course, I can still do what I want. You know, I'm 22 years old, but there are now more restrictions. And that's what makes something like this, what I'm doing right now, a little bit more difficult. I'm, it's where I kind of reach a bit of a crossroads because I, at the minute I'm in a position in terms of life with, with work and with training and everything like that, that if I don't hit my goals, it's simply because I could not be bothered to hit my goals. It is as simple as that. I, the only excuse I have is that I didn't put enough effort in. I, didn't, I, I just couldn't be bothered. That's literally the only excuse I have right now. However, being at home is completely and I mean completely different to being at uni, right? Obviously, when you are at university, you have the freedom to buy the food that you want. And yes, you can do that here, but it, it more often than not kind of doesn't happen. You, you have the freedom to buy the food that you want, to do exactly what you want, when you want. Um, and in life, that just doesn't tend to happen. So if you are a student, relish that kind of time because blink, you miss it, it's gone, boom. If I was dieting and still at university, I literally, just would not even buy those things in the first place. I would not even have them in the house because at the end of the day, if they're not there, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. If, if sweets aren't in sight, I'm not gonna want them, I'm not gonna crave them, I'm not gonna have them. Whereas if they're there, I have to then process it in my head and think, right, okay, so probably best not to have that. Of course, you can have it in moderation. Same with the kind of orange juice thing that I mentioned earlier, just don't go nuts and have the entire thing, but if they're not there in the first place, which they wouldn't have been if I was at university, then it kind of eliminates the issue in the first place. You see what I mean? Whereas being at home, there are Maltesers, there are sweets, and there are chocolate. You know, just in just things in general that I would normally wouldn't buy if I was kind of on my own at university, right? Because my mum and dad don't want to do that. My mum and dad don't want high protein snacks. Like they they do occasionally, but like if they want a packet of Maltesers. They can have a packet of Maltesers, you know, but I'm not in that situation. But then they're not going to not buy them for the sake of me not having them. Does that make sense? The other thing is I'm at home, right? I train at home uh, and I'm very, very, like I've said in the past, fortunate to actually have, um, you know, this, this setup that I have here. Not many people will have the freedom, will have the time and the opportunity to actually just come into their garage and stick whatever tunes on they want, stick, you know, stick whatever they want on the TV and train and do cardio and just focus and zone in and film videos, you know, this is a, this is the ideal kind of, I don't know why I'm just sitting on the bike, but this is kind of the ideal time, you know, like I say, I have no excuses. But it's just little kind of things like that that make a massive, massive difference and just play on you mentally. It's like, I can see those Maltesers, but then test your willpower, like, right, okay. I'm not gonna have that, I'm gonna hold out, I'm gonna drink some water because I am hungry, but I am dieting. And that is part of it, right? So, one thing, I can't remember where the quote came from, but it's a really, really good quote that I've heard before. Um, and it was something to do with dieting and some people being and someone saying like, oh, I'm really, really struggling with my diet um, because of this and this and this and I'm really hungry. And the response was, deal with it. Because <laughs> the reality is if you are in a deficit, you are going to be hungry. You are, you're not going to be full. You're not going to be satisfied 100% of the time. It's as simple as that. But you will be satisfied with the results. So you have to find it kind of in different ways. You can't seek satisfaction through food. You have to find it through kind of other things like, you know, oh, I can see that little vein coming in. Oh, I've lost a little bit of body fat here. You know, things like that. And that will keep you motivated, keep you going forwards and on track with your goals really, because 
stuff like that really, I've got real bad sweet tooth and that's why I've been eating the kind of jellies and stuff like that. Um, you know those little kind of 10 calorie jelly pots that I have? If I'm ever hungry or have like a craving at night time, I literally will just go into the fridge, grab one of these 10 calorie jelly pots, you can get them from like any supermarket and use them uh, use them, eat them, sorry, with a small spoon. It makes a massive, 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 massive difference eating with a small spoon. More mouthfuls will trick your body, trick your mind into thinking that you are actually eating more food. Simply because you are having more mouthfuls, you are eating slower as a result. If you picture this, and I know I didn't do this this morning, I don't know why I didn't do this this morning with the oats, but if you eat with this, in comparison to eating with this, just look at the kind of difference in size. It's like you versus the guy she told you not to worry about, you know? So eat with this, eat with you, and as a result, you will eat slower and feel fuller because you actually take your time with your meals rather than wharfing your food down. And I'm actually really bad for doing that myself, to be honest. If I'm hungry, I will delete my food. I will destroy it, I will demolish it, hoover it up, you know? So if you take your time and eat with a smaller spoon, or just, if you're using a knife and fork, you know, eat smaller mouthfuls, <laughs> take your time with your food, all of a sudden dieting will become a, become a little bit easier, you know? So, take those tips on board, and you'll be surprised what difference it makes. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, I hope you've taken something from it. Um, please do me a massive favour, drop a like, comment down below and subscribe if you are new. Thank you to everybody for all your support on everything, just in general. I appreciate you, I love you. Together we will grow. Actually, if you have any pictures in the t-shirts that you guys should have received now, if you have any pictures in them, send me them on Instagram and I'll like put them up on my stories and stuff like that. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed today's video guys. Let me know how you're getting on with your progress, are you bulking, are you cutting? Let me know how your diet is going, how your bulk is going, because I'm interested, you know, I actually want to know. Your tips help me, my, you know, we help each other together, we will grow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. One more time, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you in the next one.